So much has changed over the past year, but one thing that's still going strong is the state's workforce training program. It is in high demand as Groton-based electric boat gets ready for a submarine manufacturing boom. And with people retiring, it is desperately in need. NBC Connecticut's Shimon McGurl explains how workforce leaders are getting ready. If you asked Chrissy Burgoyne three years ago if she would be here, she'd say no way. I didn't know anything about welding. I remember my first day in the class. I said, I'm never going to be able to do this. Corey Forsyth, too. I had zero experience at all in manufacturing. They are both graduates of the Eastern Connecticut Manufacturing Pipeline Initiative, going from no experience to after two months of classes, working at Collins & Jewel, a Basra-based supplier for electric boat. We build things that help them build the boat. Chris Jewell is chief financial officer for Collins & Jewell, but he is also the chairman of the Eastern Connecticut Workforce Investment Board, overseeing the pipeline program. The initiative provides no-cost training to address the hiring needs of the submarine manufacturing industry, including Electric Boat and its local suppliers. So far, placing more than 1,700 people in jobs. It kind of changed my life because, you know, at the time, I just thought I was going to be stuck in where I was at. Getting a lot of that upfront. Uh, training done prior to them even starting their first day on the job, which has been very, very good. And the workforce demand is only expected to grow as Electric Boat prepares for a historic amount of shipbuilding work for the federal government. Over the next decade, EB alone will need to hire about 18,000 people. Obviously, that's an economic multiplier. Congressman Joe Courtney says the manufacturing pipeline will play a critical role in preparing the region's workforce. Changing labor market, that's not just a blip. This is going to be around for a couple decades at, at least. The training program is now working on casting a wider net, hoping to engage students at a younger age. We want to get the middle schools, we want to get the elementary schools to have kids start thinking about these types of work earlier. This is a career opportunity. This is not just another job. Siobhan McGurl, NBC Connect.